so hello everyone so today we have gathered to learn about qualitative analysis and our trainer will be mohammed awais awais uh, just let me give you the background of uh, this uh, online session we conducted a workshop in nit kurukshetra my institute from december 26 to 30 2022 there the all the participant we worked on the r studio and then there we discussed that we should learn about qualitative analysis also so we framed a questionnaire the questionnaire was about uh, research journey of a scholar of a phd scholar so around 18 19 participant replied to that as uh, instructed by you we have kept at 12 13 questions uh this is the this is the basic interface of and we were after completing all the procedures you will end here so if you want to create a new project you you just need to click here if you want to practice on and we go use sample using sample project you need to click here and if you want to be specific about your practice Uh, there there are some sample projects like specifically focusing on literature review or something like that you can explore some more sample projects over here you don't need to do anything just you know come here and click on new project uh i'm writing the project title and uh, i don't need to do anything else just click on next and if you want to if you want and you to save every click you have done using you know um uh, using n vivo to uh, to um, you, know, uh, you know to process your project just click on yes and it will save every click that you have made during the, the during operating this software and what is the disadvantage of enabling it you will not be able to do undo you know because every click you and we were saving in your in in in, in its um, cloud service you can say so this is there is only one disadvantage of this if you click yes you won't be able to use an uh, undo option uh, later in the software so i'm just i clicking it i clicking at no and uh, this is this is you know preferable option you want and we have to remind you after every 15 minutes uh, to remind to save the project so i'm you know clicking on yes so just cl create project then and every time you open it whether it is uh, a, a project that you are already working on it will end, it will give you a virtual tour if you want to take the tour just click next 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 or otherwise you can skip the tour so this is the basic interface of this software Just a second. I'm sorry. Yes. Are you able to um, um, see the screen, sir? No. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Right now you will be able. I hope you are able to see the screen. So at this, it look at this. This is data. You know tab, and everything that you import in the software, everything, it will store here. in the data tab files file classifications externals files whether let it be you know uh let's say document file pdf file audio file video and everything it will be stored here in data tab and what the file classification is i will come to file classification when when we will talk about cases so this is the importation tab you can say you the whole, the whole data that you import uh, from your computer to nvivo it will store here externals i uh, you know uh, uh, sir has already know that uh, nvivo has purchased citavi so that software we you know uh, we use that software for referencing for uh, literature we are complete package you can say when we talk about literature review and uh, something like that so what this tab do is 
uh, it will store everything that has not any physical entity in it. Let's say you have only a thought or you have only a, a reference or you have any, anything that don't have any physical file or physical entity with it, it will store there. I rarely use this tab. So I only, I am only focusing on files. The, and next coding tab. So codes. In, in earlier versions of Envo, it was nodes. And it is the, you know, uh, it is just like you can say theme. You can, you can interchangeably use code as theme, theme as code. So this tab, this, this, this portion of Envo is all related to themes, coding, themes, uh, coding themes and, you know, manual coding article, everything. So this tab will store every theme that you create or that you that the enemy will create for you by auto coding it will store here cases if your files have interviewees like if if you have collected data from persons and you want to treat every person individually then their cases their cases will be stored here here in in case tab and if you click on any tab, it will also give you some information about that, about that function. And what case classification is, the attributing values of those cases, of those persons, you can say. When we talk about cases, it could be organizations. For example, if you're a business student, business management student, and you're working on some project involving organizations, cases could be an organization as well. And attributing values of that organization would be, you know, number of employees, size, and everything like that. And if you talk about persons, if 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 a case is a person, and then the attributing values would be uh, uh, his gender, his or her gender, uh, name, you can say email address, age, so on and so forth. So this cases tab will deal with the persons or organizations or or any anything that you want to treat as case in NVivo. So let's talk about the data we have collected uh, using uh, the, the procedure that Sir Neeraj has elaborated at the start of this workshop. So I'm just stop, I'm going to stop this screen and opening those files, opening, uh, yes, screen. So, this is the file that I have I had received from Dr. Nira Sir, which comprises on the interviews that you know Sir conducted from PSG students. Let's open one of the interviews to know the structure of this interview. Academic journey of a PSG scholar, guidelines, demographic variables, and then question and then answer, question, answer, question, answer, question, answer. And this was the format of this um, uh, file. So let's start importation from software uh, into the software. So if you have, I told you that files treat with all the input uh, data for data type will treat all the importation that you make into the uh, in end vivo. So I'm, I, I just clicked on files, click on files, and I have already opened that or just select from here or here you 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 need to select those files that you want to import into the software so let's let's import one by one so i am importing one the the file that that was named as one so i'm i clicked on that file and click on import i am not doing anything with that and i am uh, clicking on okay so this is the file that you uh, have imported successfully into the NVO. If I double click on that file, it will open the detailed view of that file. And you look what you have, uh, you know, written in that uh, uh, the Word file. It will uh, it it has automatically and is completely imported into NVO. And this is the procedure you can drag and drop as well. Let's say I want to drag and drop this. I'm sorry, I don't know if something is wrong. By the way, you can drag and drop, otherwise you can use 
there's malfunctioning going on in my computer perhaps so you can drag and drop as well or you can select those files so i'm opening all the files import so all files have been imported and let's go to codes now so in codes if you have a if you have themes that the literature told you about uh, that these themes are you know the themes that you, the deductive approach the themes that you draw from uh, your literature review just click on right click here new code write anything that you want to create and um, uh, let's say sir you have collected the data let's say it's just a theme that you 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 think that it will be drawn from the data just suggest anything that you want to generate yeah. here. Sure. Here I would like to add something. When we started for the process of making the questionnaire, we learned so many things. How we did it? We make the three teams and ask the people a uh, pair each and ask them that you please prepare the 10, 15 questions that should be asked to the research scholar because we know nothing what should be mm -hmm. asked. So three teams prepared the different set of questions. Then again, after a few days, we met and it was sort of a brainstorming session. We discussed one by one that it should be kept or not, or what are the things which the three teams have similar words or the similar sort of things and the other things which are very unique, some things which are not relevant, people may not be able to answer. And then we narrowed down, like for the PhD journey, we started with the maybe title, the guide, the administrative process, paper publication, multiple responsibilities, working with the rejections, etc., peer pressure, looking forward, what you'll do in the future. So these were the several themes. So we learned here, actually, the basic dilemma was, should we frame a question from which theme will be generated? Or should we start with a theme and then make question out of it? So again, we would like to get your inputs, how actually we should start. So we started with uh, some themes and uh, probably there are 12, 13 questions in that. Right, so you are considering the questions as themes, right, sir? Yes, correct. Okay, okay. So NWIVO doesn't propose you to, you know, you know use a particular approach, sir. Uh, even not, even Max QD, you know, don't um, suggest any specific method or any specific scheme of uh, you know, a, a particular operation or particular procedure that you need to follow to use their software. So it's upon the software. No matter you are using groundwork theory, no matter you are, no, you are using semiotics or anything like that. NWO doesn't propose you or Max QDA or at least TA doesn't propose, don't propose you any specific method or any specific analysis you want to use. And um, so it's up, up to us. So as you said, our themes are our questions, right? So for that, we what we need to do, we need to import all the data, all the data into the cases. Let's say I'm I am sharing the screen. So I'm opening one file. So sir has elaborated that this is our theme, not the 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 whole title of the. Uh, uh, question is your theme, but basically this is the one theme, second one, third one. Now what we need to do is, we need to create codes and of, of, of each question and all the relevant data from that and the relevant answer from that particular question should store into that in that theme of that question. So for that, uh, I'm going to delete all files. And I'm going back to this. There's, there, there's a function in NVivo. Uh, let's say autocoding, autocoding, speaker name. And here I want to you know show a disclaimer. I am using a enterprise license, uh, let's say, uh, I'm using uh, uh, this uh, 
the subscription code from Harvard University, you know, my, my, my university. So in that uh, subscription model, they didn't include, they didn't purchase, and that is only with the um, enterprise license. Auto coding function, and they, they, there are five functions of auto coding. And for that, we need to click on file options and look at coding enhancements. And you cannot turn on in it because you didn't purchase it. But the good thing is if you use a uh, trial version, you will be able to use coding enhancements. Here, I, I won't be able to use coding enhancement. I cannot turn it on and I cannot use uh, Auto, you know, extracting themes automatically from any variable, but I will explain the procedure and you can do it at your own. Uh, yes. So, Gigi, yes, sir. Uh, where from this option came from? Just click on file. Mm -hmm. And by the way, sir, if, 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 if you are subscribed to a trial version mm -hmm. and if uh, you're using this software on trial version, you won't be able to turn anything on and off, it will, you know, automatically, it will by default comes to you that you can use coding enhancement automatically. If you want to use auto coding function of NVivo, you need to turn the coding enhancement from, just go on file, click on file, options, and then coding enhancement, you need to turn it on. And if you're using trial version, and if, even if you're using an enterprise version, you have, your university has, has subscribed to, and Vivo and have uh, has the subscription code that the university has purchased as enterprise license, and you, they need to pay extra for using this software. But you can use in trial version, simply. And um, we have made a video on it as well, which is available on Dr. Um, uh YouTube channel as well. So we don't need to. Uh, we need that software here, but I only wanted to elaborate it for you. So what Sir has suggested us is, uh, this is a code and this is, the, this is the question, which is also a code. And this is the answer of the respondents. And this is also a, a, a same, same code. And this is the answer of the second respondent. First, we need to, because these, um, these, uh, uh, the data has been collected from persons. So we need to import these files as cases because there are persons involved in it. So let's, let, um, I'm going back to the, uh, the, the file number one and I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to write, mm -hmm. I don't know why I won't be able to write. Yes, respondent number one and I'm going to close it. And second one is, and why I'm doing this, you will you know, realize, realize it later. Respondent. Number three, oh, sorry, two. Yes. And I'm going to copy it. Uh, Aves. And I'm going to save it. Yes, sir. Uh, I can still see that uh, the previous screen are you changing screen or doing something? I'm sorry, sir. I'm just opening every file. Are you able to share my screen? Responder number two, academic journey, and, and there is another tab that that that, that has opened the anonymous folder. Uh, it's coming maybe in that it's slow at my end. Yeah, now I can see that. So I am opening every file and writing respondent number one, respondent number two. Okay. In MS Word file. On it. Because, yes, because we didn't ask the name or any specific thing that, you know, shows the, uh, the identity of that respondent. So I am writing the respondent number three here. Okay. It is a kind of a mechanical work, but I'm just doing it on five, then I will do the rest and you can also do it at your own. Okay. 
So I'm, I have edited five files and just, you know, added the respondent number one, two, three, and four accordingly to the file, you know, description. And uh, for that, what I want to do is I'm, I, I, I'm taking you to a sample project, sample project. And in sample project, you will see that there's a file called Barbara. So this is Henry, this is Barbara, this is Henry, this is Barbara. So I'm, I, I want to use auto coding function to import cases from files, right? So if I click on auto code, it will say code by speaker name, code by speaker name. So are you able to follow me? Yes. Okay, okay. Speaker name. So I'm clicking on next. And if I write Henry here, it will automatically select all the data that comes after Henry, you know. And if I click on next, it will ask if you want to associate any, uh, you know, classification or attributing. Remember case classification or file classification. So if you want to add any to, uh, for example, if Henry is a person, what type of classification you want to associate with it? I want to, you know, associate person with it. So if I click finish, it will import Henry as case here, right? But in our case, let's go back to our file and uh, with .nis. And if I import those file for those five files here, I don't know why drag and drop option is not available. Anyways, five files and I'm opening it. Import. Now what I if I open file number one, respondent number one. Now we don't have we don't have the names of that respondents, but we do have respondent number one, respondent number two, respondent number three. So I am I'm going to use this respondent number one as speaker name. Let's see. So I have, but first let's create case classification. New, new classification, the attributing values that we want to associate with, with the respondent number one, you can see. And if you want to, uh, if you want to use the already, you know, given classifications, there are there is an organization classification a person calls uh, classification uh, by default anywhere gives you but let's let me write interviewees i don't know uh, or participants let's say i don't i don't need to create description or anything and i'm clicking on okay so here the participation I'm going to close it. Participants classification has been created. Participants, right? So now I want, I, I need to give, I want to associate attributing values that we have asked in our questionnaire, like uh, West India, India or South India, something like that. So I am going to give this classification sheet a new attribute. I have clicked on new attribute. And what is the new attribute? Let's go back to the file. And first attribute, attributing value is type of university, right? So I'm going to copy this type of university as attributing value and name this class attribute as type of university. And now I need to give values. I need to, you know, I need to, make it as open-ended you know we have given uh, only a particular options to select right so values unassigned not applicable i'm going to add a new one and the first one is state and the second one is central third one is uh university region you can say Sorry, sorry, sorry. State, central, private. Third one is private. I'm sorry, private. So unless you are doing Fourth this- Fourth one is because this is the- Sorry, sir? 
uh, you are doing a similar work which we do in SPSS, like creating the options yes. in board, etc. Yes, it, it is needed because we have asked the demographic variables. Yes. Right. And NMVO treats uh, demographic, uh, demographic variables the same as SPSS. So deemed. Next one is uh, others. So click on OK. So if you click here, you will be able to see these. And now I'm going to give another attributing value uh, variable, and that is home state. Home state. Now there's a problem. We won't be able to, uh, 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 for example, let's say you have 100 participants and all are from different regions, from different hometowns. You need to create those 100 categories in this software because the, it cannot treat demographic variables at open uh, open ended unless you have treated them in your um, in the in, in your questionnaire. So I'm sorry. Yes, I'm giving it home state. Let's say Goa, and uh, we will we will generate these attributing values uh, values as we come across with different files okay and then department yes new attributing value department and values before department region region yes we have skipped the region part. And North India, South India, East India, West India. Right. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. North India. Because, sir, you have uh, asked me to start from scratch, that's why I'm okay. using Otherwise, I would have created them by myself, and then I will come no, no, with no, the no. final is, file, but I won't. No, it is required. We are learning a lot with this process. Thank you, sir. East India. So I understand that all of us need to do it on the trial version mode. The first thing we should do this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. West India and Central India, or otherwise, or or we can do it other way. Or I will share this project file with all of you, and uh, you will save yourself from this mechanical work. You know, uh, I think we should do it mechanically. Central, Central India. Okay, and then new attributing file. Department. Yes. Here I want to tell uh, one more thing. If you have, uh, you know, gathered the data from and imported the data, exported the data from Google Sheet, or you have collected that on Google Forms, right? It will give you the, uh, you know, Excel file. And this software, I'm going to click on cancel. This software will automatically import the classifications here. Or if you want to, Excel file. In Excel file, all the open-end questions will be treated as themes. Open the, the, the box that you have named in XPS in, in, in Excel. All the uh, closed-ended questions will be treated as classification sheets, and it will automatically be imported into case classifications or file classifications. So this is the you know uh, 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 the trick that we can use to save ourselves from this mechanical work. Just collect the data from Google Forms and uh, write the closed end questions there. Let's say just like type of university, home state, region, and other variables, and it will automatically import those those demographic results, demographic boxes that you have used in Excel, and it will import them as classification sheets classification sheets into case classifications and you won't uh, you won't do you won't need to do that in and we will uh, manually if you have collected data from google forms so region we're done with the region next one is the department. department yes sir 
sir will you be able to uh, can you please open the uh, file at your end and then just uh, or some participants so i um, i won't be able to i won't need to go back and forth from certain to file and then write this yes what are the departments that we are we uh, have asked from respondents sir management yes sir the second is commerce third one sir uh, i'm opening the ms word file just a minute please sir third is psychology next is i don't uh, know if i written the correct next is a uh, technology next is yes, sir. engineering engineering yeah and others and okay what is the uh, next attributing variable sir next is nature of phd enrollment and it nature of phd enrollment it got two options full time yes, and sir. Yes, sir. Next is number of guides. Next one, sir. Number of guides. I'm sorry, sir. Number of guides. PhD guide. Or number of supervisors. We can supervisor. Say. You can call supervisor. Yes. Because it is a common term that we use yeah. here in Pakistan as well. Correct. So supervisor. The, the viewers who watch from Pakistan would be able to, you know. Yes. Okay. So one, options are one, two, two three, or many. Or more than two, okay, more hmm. than two. Hmm. Yes. And the next one, sir? Year of registration. Now that's an open-ended question. Year of registration. We can make um, uh, the groups as well. We need to keep it close-ended if, hmm. if we are using this demographic so, variable in our you can think of from 2017 or 2016 to 2022. Okay, sir. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24. Next one, sir. Availing scholarship. So we are looking, are they getting any scholarship? Answer is yes, no. Yes, sir. Next. Number of paper publication. So it is again open ended. So you can write one, two, three, four, five. Let's consider up to five. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, name these publications. Okay. Or more than five. More than five. Correct. Next one is Next gender. One, sir. Gender, men, women. Gender. I'm going to write man because we are associated eight to one respondent. Perfect. And the next last one, sir. Is, last one is your age. That's open ended. So we can write uh, something like 22 to 25, 25 to 30. Thirty to thirty five. Right, sir. To thirty five. 31 to 35. Yeah. And more than 35? Which you don't need to take into account the levels of measurement. You, uh, yeah. For example, you, you need to keep the same amount of difference between categories. You don't, you, need, you don't need to keep that into account. Okay. That's it, sir? That's it. Okay. Okay. So we have created case classification of participants 
and in that participant case classification or key attributing a variable we have you know associated different values type of university home state region and so on and so forth so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to import this file as case and how to do that just click on and you need to keep this keep this thing as structure in word file respondent number 1 or name of that uh, uh, or name of that uh, respondent or if if if, if you don't uh, didn't ask the name then just write respondent number 1 or anything that you want to so just click on right click on one auto code now i'm kind of deceiving this software i'm using speaker name to import respondent number 1 as case so just i am i am keeping it as speaker name next and it is asking me what is the speaker name now i am going to copy this and going to write it sorry it won't be able to copy from the file so i am going to write it respondent number 1 so if yes it has selected all the data that comes after this speaker if they for example if there was a vas here or dr neeraj here i would have written dr neeraj and it will uh, you know uh, uh, select all the data that comes after our names so just write respondent number 1 here instead of the name of the speaker because we are considering this as speaker name so click on next so which classification you want to associate right participants so i'm going to click finish so just go on respondent number 1 has been imported as case and if you click on here all the data has been imported into that case so now i am going to it didn't automatically you know fetch data from the file that which university this respondent belongs to so i'm going to write click on it and click on case property case property and then going to give it attributing values home state what is the for, let's start from one type of university state university it has a respondent state university so this one is state university and uh, home state is goa because we have already uh, yes goa yeah next I'll one is up. west india the, the sorry sir a, i will speak up it's a west india next is management yes sir management men yes sir full time full time next one is uh, number of supervisor number of uh, supervisor it's uh, not given so maybe one you can do unassigned or not applicable ideally speaking would have we would have um, we should have uh, you know it, it, opted unassigned yeah, or not applicable it has to be one but it yes so one. One, so one then year of okay, registration yes. 2019 20 sorry 2019 yes scholarship no no application zero i think we forget to mention zero there yes so, so not applicable what we are going to do is i am going to i am going to publication waste publication yes and i am going to add zero here so just go and respondent number 1 case property attributing value now publications zero gender male or female men. sir men 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 is h 36 so more than 35 35 okay apply okay okay so i have i have done the import uh, import uh, import part of this respond number 1 as case so we need to do exercise we need we need to repeat this exercise on every file right Got it. make because our files are uh, cases in it are interviewees in it 
or we can uh, here i also want to tell you that we can deceive the software as well not deceive but we can create we can make a shortcut so this whole file is about respondent number 1 right so the, the the case classification that we have import uh, we, we have created here just create here and associate this file to associate this file to that case classification for example uh, which type of university homestead so we can do that here as well but to make the things clear i have imported that uh, uh, that interview as case and then i have associated case classifications and i need to repeat let's do that on uh, respondent number 2 as well article code speaker name next respondent number 2 now i need to write respondent number 2 and you yeah. have I will click the data click next yes sir please sir it's a central university J just a second sir i need to finish the importation part mm -hmm. first so okay right click here mm -hmm. case property attributing value yes sir type uh, type of university sir central university okay sir uttar pradesh now again uttar. it's not there we need to add it yes sir we need to add it here so let me speak up uh, some of them which are uh, which commonly will come yes sir so it's uh, pradesh. pradesh yeah then madhya pradesh can you please spell it for me sir m a d h y a pradesh y a ha huh. yes sir then uh, haryana next is punjab i love i love the language of haryana sir <laughs> okay <laughs> punjab and then uh, himachal pradesh yes sir karnataka k a r n a t a k a okay sir uttarakhand u d t r a k h a n d and it is uh, it is a one word right uh, yes uttarakhand so and uh, one is sikkim so i am getting the message that uh, pradesh is p r a another is sir another is rajasthan yeah what uh, comes after uttarakhand sir uh, sikkim what comes after uttarakhand sikkim s i w k i m okay sir rajasthan and what was wrong in rajasthan and uh, one so, in uh, delhi also so which uh, which spellings need to need to be correct uh, sir it, pradesh it's okay avesh it's okay we are on the trial mode it's okay let uh, we should not be yes. that fuzzy by the way i i will i i will i will give this file to all of you so you can correct it by yourself right okay case property so just open the second respondent no. sir and second, uh, give second me the respondent the, is from uttar pradesh we didn't apply we didn't save that thing so just okay uh, central start university. from scratch please sir central university central yes it's a uh, home state uttar pradesh north india north india management management sir full time full time one yes sir 2020 yes sir yes scholarship yes okay sir publication for yes sir gender women right sir age 32 so 31 to 30. 31 to 35 yes. right apply okay let's do that for third one uh, i think uh, avesh uh, if you allow uh, the participant will do it for themselves and it will be their homework and then uh, yes sir we can join in the that network. would be perfect that would be perfect that would be perfect yeah so we have created 
this thing. Um, so can you just give us a just summary of the steps we need to start with after downloading? Okay, okay, sir. After downloading, uh, after um, uh, signing it, signing it up for our trial version, uh, you will download the software, and then um, you will um, when you, you when you open this software for the first time, it will, uh, you know, it will not land it directly to the software, but it will, uh, you know, uh, prompt it prompt for your credentials. You just need to log in into my NVivo account. Click on that. It will open a Chrome bar, a Chrome tab. You need to enter the credentials in that, and uh, then uh, the, let's repeat this, sir. I am going to save this. Uh, that's okay. And you told us. Give going... the name. Give the brief about okay. that. Okay. 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 The okay sir. In, no, sir. After uh, signing it, you will you know land here. Just create new project or open this workshop without an age, sir. That I will give you. Or um, if you if it is the recent project and you won't be able to see it because you need to open that project right so right. click on other project mm -hmm. and say and select that path that where you have saved this soft this project file that I I will give you so open it and you will land here so just repeat the same thing the same thing on each each respondent but here we uh no 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 we didn't make a mistake but i have already uh, you know did that one thing that we also need to do i'm going step by step and doing from scratch to uh, what we need to achieve from this software so this 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 needs to be practiced this needs to be exercised on every file every file all i guess uh, there are 20 files, I guess, or 19 files. Or I don't know if we have some more data as well. 19 files. So sir. we need to do 19 files. We need to do this on every file. And then, as asked in at the start, this is our code. And we need to we need to import this as code and we want the answer of every respondent, every respondent to code into this theme here automatically, right? Yes. For example, gather all the data, all the data of question number one, all the respond responses from question number one into that code, into that theme that we are going to create here in codes. One way to do this is just click on question number one just create a theme like question one or you can name it uh for example what this question is topic. about can you describe any topic. challenges you faced topic probably topic problem and to you know for identification i have also written question number one this and question number one we have created it here just go to codes right click new code name it as question number one one way to do is click on file, open every file. And then if you click on codes, the detail view will not change. So you just need to, you don't need to uh, select anything else, but just need to, software will know that you, you, you are going to, you know, code this data to this from which file it will remember, right? So you don't need to select anything else. Just select the res response and code into it just like that drag and drop code into this but this is a very mechanical thing to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, i'm going to delete it by the way i'm going to do this in automatic way and if you click on right click here and click on auto coding it will give you paragraph styles and if you have if you if if you have uh, uh, selected uh, the coding enhancement as on and here i just want to open a video from our previous sessions sir i want to show you uh, which uh, because when you when you, when you are using trial version this these two options will not come up okay what will come up is let me let me search it on uh, 
Google, for example. Uh, Avaj, Avaj, just saying yes, that sir. can we stop here today? And according, we will take in the next one. Whatever you have told us that all the demographic variables should be entered for 19 people, this much portion we can do it. So the next, the, um, if, if, if we are going to discuss it tomorrow, then I need to give some homework no. tomorrow as well. So I want to give a homework as a whole of coding as well. So I, we will be able to, you know, perform some analysis in our next class. So this will not take some time, um, much time of yours, but uh, let me open our previous file. I am just, I just want to give you auto coding options, introduce auto coding options. Just a second, sir. I know it will be enough, uh, but uh, I'm opening it, sir, in the background, what I want to show you. By the way, if you have any query, meanwhile, you can ask. Uh, I just have this query first. You imported all the 19 files in the file. And then in the right, codes, there was the code classification. You created uh, all the demographic variable and then assigned their values. Right, this is, uh, I think, uh, we yes, have so far. Yes, sir. And now you are telling so us. So I have, uh, yes, I have come across with what I uh, I want to show you. Just a second. Yes. Uh, sir, I have a question. If yes. you uh, like, if you will share your in vivo file, it will be like the similar way in a SPSS file. When we once we open that SPSS coded file, so it will go the that format of SPSS. Yes. Or uh, it will be same when uh, you will share the in vivo file, and it will be the same coding which we, we have done so far. Yes. 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 What I have done. Uh, it will automatically it, it it is saved and uh, you 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 don't need to repeat every step in it so if you are using a trial version and when you click on auto coding let's say auto code this auto code when you right click on any file auto code and uh, this version of n we want this enterprise license showing me speaker name paragraph style paragraph but when you use trial version it will show this screen, identify themes, identify sentiments, speaker name. This is already here, speaker name. But paragraph styles or paragraph is not, are not here, right? So for that, uh, are you able to follow me, sir? Are you able to see my screen? Uh, uh, yes, perfectly. Sir, are you able to see my screen? Yes, yes. we can see your screen, yes. Identify themes, identify sentiments, speaker names. Speaker name is the same thing that I have in my version, right? So you don't, you will not be able to see paragraph styles or paragraph. So for that, you need to select use a style or structure. And when you click here, when we, you click right click on any file, and when you click here and click on next, you will find paragraph style. You will find paragraph style and then uh, what you need to do, I am going to explain it later. But don't, uh, you know, you will be confused. That's why I show, I, I showed you this image. When you right click on any file, auto code, you will come across this screen. Identify themes, identify sentiments, speaker name, user style structure. These are five kind of auto coding that Envo could do for you. So you need to. For, for what I'm going to explain to you, you need to select user style or structure and then click on next. And then you will, I mean, you will see these two options, paragraph styles and format. For that, you need to do something with, uh, with the files as well. So I'm going to open three. And what sir has explained that this is theme, let's say theme. So you just need to give this question a style. Let's say I'm giving this heading number one. I'm giving this heading number two. Oh, sorry, heading number one, heading number one. Give every question the same style, heading number one. Heading number one. 
heading number one, heading number one, heading number one, heading number one to all 20, all 12 questions. So I'm going to save it and uh, I'm going to import this file now. So I'm going to delete these files because I haven't done um, the style, I haven't given styles. So before importing them, so I'm clicking on files, click on three, import, and you need to, you need to do three things, uh, two things. First, autocode, speaker name, speaker name, repeat the same procedure. And second thing, what you need to do is, I have already uh, given, I, I have already given uh, questions, a particular, you know, headline number one style to the file number one and two. So that's why I have did, I have done that on file number three. So file number one, I have given this in the word, I have given this question as the style of headline number one, headline, uh, heading one, sorry, heading one, heading, heading one, heading one, heading one to each for each question. So one way to do is, as I told you, just, cre just create uh, the theme name, like question number one, topic, challenge, or like that. Or the another thing, just right click here, auto quote, paragraph style, right? If this is the second step. First step is import speaker name and import and save them as cases. The second one is give uh, questions heading one paragraph style or style format it accordingly and then select auto coding paragraph style or use the existing style and structure in your trial version and then select paragraph style next you have given list or you have given heading number one heading one so in, so select it over here next so i'm going to create new codes new codes new code new code Question wise themes, we can say. Question wise themes. I'm going to repeat this as well. So finish. So if now I'm going to quotes, question wise themes, all 12 questions. And if you open question, can you describe this one, this one? And it has automatically. Uh, uh, only for that particular part that you have given a particular, for example, heading number one. So heading number two is the question number two. Heading number three is the question number three. So you need to do this. And uh, I'm going to do this on file number two as well. File number two, auto code, style, paragraph style. Next, it has automatic, automatically set because I have done it at the first step. Next, exist. Now you have already created that code. So now existing code or case, select question wise. Okay, finish. So codes. Now what you will come across, there are two codes, two codes. One is from first file, second is from second file and you need to merge them, right? Just cut this and right click on the parent code, merge into selected code, merge into selected code. Everything, you need to, you know, merge everything. Now, if you open it, this is from first file, this is from second file. And same question, same question. Similarly, question number 10, merge into selected code, that's so how we will identify which one is the first one and which one is the second one. Is there and any remark for it? It will automatically fetch these, these details from this one, first, second. I am going to repeat this because I'm going to delete this. And, uh, I've, and let's Open the file number first Aves. from here. Uh, file number one. Aves. Yes, sir. The glass is full. Yes, sir. I'm saying the glass is full. 
I think we should stop here because it's uh, getting over now. So I won't. So I'm sorry, I won't be able to understand you. I'm saying we should stop now because now it's getting okay, sir. too much. Okay, sir. Okay. You don't need, sir. Okay. So just to let me remind you, the participants, that uh, to preserve the anonymity, we have given the names as one, two, three, four. So 19 yes. MS Word files I will send to all of the participants, including their data also, the others' data also. So the second thing is uh, in every file, as uh, Avas told us, we need to put a respondent number on the top. Second thing, we need to put all the questions, questions, the 12 or 13 questions as the heading that we need to do. And after that, we will import it. Heading on, one. Yeah, we will import it in MS Word. And then rest of the procedure, which I was told, and this video will also be given to all the participants so that they can see and practice. I will advise uh, both of the ways of working to do right from the scratch, importing, doing one by thing one theirself, and then trying to do the importing the data given by the AWS. So whatever AWS will uh, send us, we will work on that. But it's better to start right from the zero, do it every single thing, looking at this video, do it yourself. And then we will meet in the next week by taking the time, Saturday or Sunday, and uh, then we will continue from here always.